Yeah, it's another triangle video. I did a different version of the triangle here. We're still breaking up the triangles the same way, same exact algorithm, but I added a little bit more color. Each of the uh, lines, they used to all be red, now they're red, green, or blue. I kind of like the result. I really only ran into two interesting issues when I was uh, working on this. Before I go too far, notice this nice sharp corner. I said something incorrect in my last video. I said that was a butt joint. It's line join, not, not what I said before. And you have three choices. You have bevel, round, or miter. Miter gives you that sharp point, and that's the default. So just a correction from our last video. So I only did the, the outside of these lines. I didn't do anything inside. You might wonder why. Well, I ran into a small problem while I was working on that, and it's not that I couldn't overcome it. It's just a little bit more effort than I wanted. And why don't I uh, show you? I made a sample here just to show off. And you know what? I'm going to use the uh, debugger to slow things down. Again, this is Chrome, but um, other tools are very similar. So let's go to my sources. And let's make this a little bigger. When you hit Draw Simplest, it runs the code here under uh, Draw Simplest. So I'm just going to say a breakpoint there, just so I can slow it down. And the same thing with uh, the other two buttons. All right, we still have plenty of room. Like I said, I, I kind of wanted something like this, except to fill in. Yeah, let's clear this out. Every time, instead of uh, just drawing lines, we would fill in parts of it with uh, a specific color. And what would that look like? So I made three samples here. Here's the simplest thing that if I didn't do anything differently, if I just took the old code and drew it exactly the same, except instead of being shades of red, it was different colors. So let's say draw simplest. So we're going to start by drawing the outside of the triangle. Then we split the triangle, so we have a new line. Then this triangle on the left is uh, too small. Again, this is all blown up just for effect, just uh, so you can see it. But we're going to say that this one was too small, so we want to fill it in. You notice what it did there. It's kind of overwrote these other lines, and it looks a little bit strange. Now, again, this is blown up. You would notice something strange if, uh, if it was smaller. If nothing else, you'd notice that some lines were thicker than others. Now what? Now we look at this other triangle, and it's not too small. So we're going to break it into half. Simple enough. Now let's start filling in the sides. One more. So now this is just completely gone. Some of the lines got thinner and some of them just disappeared completely. In fact, I think as we added more triangles, basically only the exterior walls would still be here. So we still wouldn't have two sets of colors. We would have just had the uh, inside instead of the outside. So, is there an alternative? Well, it seems to me that maybe we could be just a little bit smart. Maybe, when I first drew this line here, in fact, let's do that again. At that point, I already knew, in fact, if you remember from the last lesson, we first record all four of these points and we push these two new triangles onto our list. Then, the last thing we do after we have all these points is draw this line. Now, 
If you remember the last video, we also had a function called too small. So before we draw this line, we could ask, is this triangle too small? Is this triangle too small? If it's too small, we would immediately fill it in. That would be one way. So you could fill it in just before you drew the line instead of just after. So that's what this reorder is. We're, we're going to try something just slightly smarter. In fact, uh, all the code is here. So the, it starts out the same, but here we fill the triangle, then draw the line. Where here we draw the line and then fill the triangle. If you look, those are exactly the same lines. I just swapped them. And then the same thing here. I drew a line and I just moved that down to the bottom. So let's see what this actually looks like uh, as we try to run it. So draw, reorder. Again, we're going to start with the same exterior, but we figured out, we know what this point is. We figured it out. We know exactly what this point is. And we know we're going to want to fill this part in in purple, in magenta. So again, we know the new point is right here. We know we're going to draw that line. We can check the two triangles. We know that this one is going to be magenta, and this part's going to stay open. So why not draw the magenta triangle right now? Step over. There it is. And there's our line. So it, it's an improvement. It, it clipped a little bit of this, but the blue line is good. And then same thing here. We know there's going to be a line right here. And before we draw that, we can just check quickly. We're not going to do all the details. We're just going to say, is it too small or not? And again, these are small. So I'm going to draw and then draw, and then draw. And that's definitely an improvement. In fact, um, again, this thing is uh, bigger than the real thing would be, but still, you would probably notice that the lines, some of them were thinner than others, especially those very thin lines. If it's only one pixel thick, if you try to cut that in half, you just can have something that, that just doesn't quite look right. These effects are interesting, but they'd probably disappear when we got smaller. So the question is, can we do even better? Well, of course we can, but what would that look like? How about draw best? So we start the same way with this initial triangle. Then the next step, we do the split. So this would have all been done, these three lines in one step, then a slight pause, then the split. Slight pause. Then we would fill this triangle. Only now it's a little bit more complicated because we have these draw line commands too, not just uh, the fill triangles. And some of these will look familiar. They actually got copied from another place or copied with some very small changes. So let's try it. Fill triangle. We get the slightly weird effects and the thinner lines. And then we fix it. This isn't magic. This is what you normally do. You normally uh, fill and then stroke. The only problem is you have all these extra lines and you'd have to remember those somewhere. And that's what I didn't want to add to the program. It was just a little extra effort. Okay, let's try that one again. So again, there'd be a pause right now because we just drew a uh, triangle. Then we'll do the do one step. Another line. No problem. And then the same thing with this fill. After we do the fill, we're going to draw a bunch of lines. Just to make it... Uh, full size again and easy enough to see. And then finally, again, another pause up to a second if you put it on slow and the same exact trick. So again, you can see that this is actually kind of a neat pattern and this is what I had in my head. I just got a little bit lazy 
And I knew if I tried, I'd get something like this, where uh, really there was nothing but the boundary and there were just colors inside. So that is one of the major problems that I hit. The next one had to do with timing.